head of the government, Abdul Hamid Baiba, announced the opening of the coastal road between the east and the west uh, two years after the closing, uh, and they uh, already started to remove the barricades. Uh, Baiba said that we are turning the page uh, on the sassism and uh, the era of dispersal uh, and the, and the, the division uh, uh, is over forever, as he said. Um, the U.S. Embassy also announced that the opening of the coastal road is a significant and comes uh, as uh, the international community prepares to meet in Berlin. Uh, but few hours after that, um, from this statement, after one of the after uh, commanders said that uh, it's a unilateral uh, decision and they didn't get any order to open the road uh, from their side, and that means that they refused to open. Uh, the coastal road uh, between the east uh, and the west, and it seems that they are extremely unhappy with this decision. Um, so comparing uh, both statements, Beba said, uh, let's focus on building Libya and the future, uh, and the, the reaction of Haftar's militia, uh, it's clear that they want to keep the country divided, and uh, they even uh, don't want to show uh, any uh, sentiment of reconciliation. Uh, and just yesterday, some of Haftar's militia attacked some of cities in the south uh, of Libya and near also to the Algerian border. Uh, we know that the Wagner Group mercenaries are still holding Seth and Jufra Air Base, and Haftar's militia are still receiving munitions almost uh, every couple of days. So uh, I don't think that uh, Haftar will accept to open the coast road. So we can see that the LNA now are trying to make the chaos, uh, maybe to prevent the election, which is supposed to be, uh, which is supposed to be uh, next uh, December. Another problem here, uh, even after um, the ceasefire agreement, is the displaced people. What is going to happen to them? Um, there is a thousands of families still displaced from um, the east uh, of Libya to here, uh, to the west, um, and that was since 2014, since uh, after started his operation and capture uh, the eastern side of the country. The GNA is the only legitimate government and there is an MOU uh, which is the Memorandum of Understanding was signed between the Turkish government and the GNA uh, last year regarding to defense, military and security cooperation and it will continue. He also announced today that the warlord Haftar and his supporters will be a legitimate target uh, if they attack the Turkish elements and that comes after uh, the last speech or the last statement of the warlord Haftar when he announced uh, before two days that the zero hour, as he said, uh, will be very soon and he will launch another attack and he will target uh, the military troops in Tripoli. Uh, will the defense minister of the uh, GNA also threatens uh, to withdraw from the military talks uh, sponsored by the uh, by the UN 5 plus 5 or 10 committees uh, will do the ceasefire agreement violation that the warlord did it in southern Libya. Uh, will we know that uh, right now both sides are holding a ceasefire, uh, but also both sides, um, the JNA and the LNA militia are regrouping. Almost every day we hear about, about a military planes arriving in the east of Libya, also in Jufra Airpace, carrying mercenaries and weapons to the LNA uh, illegal militia. Also, uh, I was in Sirte before a couple of days, and if you ask uh, any fighters, I was around Sirte, in the outskirts of Sirte, uh, before a couple of days, and if you ask any uh, one of those the GNA fighters there, uh, what do you think about the ceasefire, or what do you think about the... Uh, the current situation, um, he will uh, simply he will answer you. It, it's it will be no ceasefire, and the LNA will attack uh, sooner or later, like they did like they did before.